Hey guys, welcome to Travel Feels. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to edit to music like a pro. We all know how important music is to our films, not only choosing the right song, but also making our edits fit that song. It's really important to have edits that hit those beats on that song and that you're taking into account all the different sections of the song in your edit. So I'm going to take you through my process of how I edit my films to the music. So first step is to find the right song. And I'm usually using either Artlist or Musicbed.com. I use Artlist most of the time just because it's super cheap. It's only $200 a year for unlimited licenses for unlimited projects. It doesn't matter how big or how small your project is or where you wanna put that video, you can use the songs on Artlist for that $200 flat rate. So it's really affordable, really easy to use, tons of great music. And then sometimes I'm also using musicbed.com, but it's a lot more expensive. So it's more rare that I'm using musicbed.com, but sometimes you just need that really specific, really high quality song and musicbed is great for that. And when you're looking for that right song, you really want a song that tells your story and conveys that mood that you want. Look at all the footage that you got from your travels and figure out what kind of song would fit this film. So maybe if you have a lot of summer footage that's really happy and a lot of laughter and that kind of stuff, maybe you want a more upbeat film or maybe you want a really cinematic style film. So choose your song according to that. I also try to look for songs that have multiple crescendos or multiple buildups. It just keeps things a little bit more interesting and more dynamic so that your edit doesn't get boring and it gives you a little bit more flexibility to be creative with your edits. Once you have your song, take a look at the whole song and figure out where the different sections are. Where's the intro? Where's the first verse? Um, first chorus? If there's an interlude, where is that? Check the whole song through and I would actually add markers to the different sections. So for example, where the intro ends and the first verse begins, I would put a marker there. Or where the first build up starts, I would put a marker right there. So I know right away when those different sections are coming up. And it also really helps to plan out those different sections. So figure out what you wanna put in the intro and then what clips during the first verse. And then what kind of footage are you gonna to use to do that build up in that first chorus? Plan out the different sections. It'll really help you in your editing process so that you have kind of a game plan going into it. Then we're ready to start editing. And the way I like to do it is I like to edit to the different beats of the music. So usually either to the snare or the bass drum. So if you want a really drastic cut, use the snare drum. It'll bring a little bit more attention to that cut. And if you want a little bit more of a subtle cut, use the bass drum. But really there's no rules to this. Do whatever feels right in that section of the song. But usually I'm editing to either the snare or the bass drum. So we have our song chosen. I got this song from Artlist. Let's take a little listen to it. So this is the intro section. And now we're into the first verse here. And then it continues. And then we have a little interlude here where it's where it's a little bit different from the verse or the chorus. And it goes back into the chorus again. So we have our song and we have our footage here. We're gonna do a little edit of us driving to the mountains and doing a little hike in Zermatt, Switzerland. So we have our clips here. We're gonna move them over. We're gonna bring them in. And so I think I'm gonna do a couple driving shots for this intro section here. So. So I'm gonna do a couple driving shots for this intro section here. So let's see how this goes. So we're gonna make an edit there. So this intro doesn't have uh, really a beat yet, but we can tell where the beats would be, especially this one little guitar riff here. So we're gonna edit on that guitar. Then we're gonna bring in the next clip here. And 
And there we go, that looks pretty good. Then we're gonna bring in some other clips here. So we're listening to where the bass and snare drums are. So here is a bass drum. And I'm just using the arrow keys to kind of skim through back and forth to find exactly where that beat is. So let's make an edit there, bring in the next clip. And we're gonna go with this bass drum here. Cut, bring in the next clip. And so as you're editing, you're just basically choosing different clips and then you're just shortening them down to fit the song. And usually you only want it to be there for a couple beats. You don't want one clip lasting too long. So I'm just gonna go through all these different clips and find where the bass drum is and edit to those points. I'm gonna make the cuts exactly where the bass drum or where the snare drum is. <laughs> And there's that bass drum again. And then the last little bit there. And there's that bass drum once more. So let's take a look at that little section there. So that's looking pretty good so far. There could be some minor adjustments, like for example, I don't really like how long this first clip is going for. I feel like it should end right here. So I'm gonna do that change. I'm gonna cut that and we're gonna bring this clip forward. And find that bass drum, make the edit and bring everything over and hopefully everything is still in time here. All the edits line up, except this one's a little bit off. We can shift that over. And there we go. And then let's do the next clips here. Cut, bring in the next clip. Always just listening for those beats. And so I'm gonna let this last clip go a little bit longer, but we're gonna add in some fast cuts here. Where you hear the different beats here, we're gonna add some quick cuts here. So let's just reuse some of the clips from earlier in the edit. We're gonna copy and paste these, and we're just gonna add in a few of them. So there's another beat, we're gonna make a cut there. There's another beat. And we're just kind of testing it out, seeing what will work here. Okay, I don't like these two clips. So we're gonna switch out that clip. Let's say for this one. So you can see that added a lot to the edit. We just made a couple quick cuts to that song um, and it just adds a little bit of energy and really helps with that little build up there. 
I would say in general, try to keep your edits pretty quick and pretty snappy. Um, if you watch any, for example, music videos, they're just a ton of edits and that's just to keep the interest going and just keep the viewer's attention. We can get a lot of information from a really quick clip. Um, so the brain is just capable of processing a lot. Um, so don't be scared of making really quick edits like this. So this is how I would edit through the whole video and then Towards the end, you start realizing either you need a little bit more time in your song or it's too long and you need to shorten it. And this is actually really easy. You can extend different sections in songs and make them shorter to fit your edit and to really use that music to serve the purpose of your storytelling. So for instance, in this example, if I wanted this to be the end of the video, I could make it so the song ends here also. And we could do that a couple of different ways. We could just fade down and fade out, but we could also use the actual end of the song and put it into this section. So how we do that is we find that last beat where that next bar starts. So if we listen back, it's right here. This is the first beat. So we cut the song right there and then we go to the end of the song. That last beat is right there. So now if we delete the middle section here of the song and we just take that end section and bring it in. There you go, now we've used the actual ending of the song, even though it doesn't actually happen in this part of the song, but you can't even tell. And sometimes if that edit doesn't fit quite perfectly in the song, you can just use a crossfade to kind of bridge that gap and smooth it out. Drag and drop it on there, and usually you would only choose a couple of frames and have it crossfading from one part of the song to the next. But in this case, you really didn't even need that. So remember, you can shorten and extend your songs to your liking to serve your edit. Don't just think that because the song keeps going that I have to add in more clips even though I'm running out of footage or the edit should be ending here, but I'm just gonna keep going because the song keeps going. Just shorten the song to whatever feels right for your film. So there you have it. That's how I edit to the music. It's really simple in the end. You're just finding those snare drums or those bass drums and you're editing to those points. It takes some time, but it's definitely worth it and it really harmonizes the song and your edit together into one thing. So it's not just um, your footage with some song randomly thrown in the background that doesn't even necessarily fit very well. You really wanna edit to the music and this is the way that I do it and this process works for me. But figure out your own process, take some tips from here and figure out what works best for you. So guys, play around with this, have some fun, try different things, there's no set rules. So just give it a go, trial and error. Sometimes you'll try to do those fast cuts and it just doesn't work at all and that's okay, but try it out, see what works best for your edit. But it's really simple in the end, it's not some crazy complicated process. Just listen to the music, listen to the beats and listen to where that song is going and make those edits flow with the music. Simple as that. Guys, I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to edit to music. Enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels.